Hey everyone, we are asked to provide the electron configuration of magnesium in the standard and noble gas notation. So I recommend that you take a minute now and try to solve this problem on your own before we go through the answer together. When finding the electron configuration of an atom, we are being asked where does this atom place its electrons, i.e. what shells and orbitals are its electrons most likely to be found in. To solve this, the first thing we need to do is look at our periodic table, and we need to see how many electrons a magnesium atom actually has in its ground or unexcited state. Looking this up, we can see that magnesium is number 12 on the periodic table, meaning that in a neutral state, no positive or negative charge, our magnesium atom will have 12 protons in its nucleus, and thus 12 electrons surrounding that nucleus. Let's also remember that in the past video, we talked about this handy device for remembering which orbitals have the lowest energy, as these are the orbitals that get filled first. As always, begin with 1s subshell, and as we discussed before, the 1s subshell can hold 2 electrons. This leaves us with 10 electrons. Next, following our energy diagram arrows, we have the 2s subshell, which again can take 2 electrons. Then we are going to move to the 2p orbitals, of which there are 3 and these orbitals can all take two electrons. Therefore, in total, we have six electrons placed into the two p orbitals. This leaves us with two electrons remaining. As seen on our electron energy diagram, the next subshell to fill will be the 3s subshell. Because the s subshell can again take two electrons, we are now finished. We can now rewrite the standard notation solution like this, and we have just solved for the standard electron configuration of ground state magnesium. To write the noble gas notation, we simply look at the noble gas that has an atomic number lower than magnesium. So that is going to be neon. In the noble gas notation, we simply shorten this section as neon's ground state electron configuration like so. And we write out the remaining electrons again like so. We have now to solve for the ground state electron configuration of magnesium in the standard and noble gas notations. I hope that this video helped your understanding of how to solve for magnesium's ground state electron configuration. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.